welcome back. You're still watching the Afia Morning Show. States in the southeast have been suffering from power shortage. And of course, the Enugu Electricity Distribution Company has not more than once said that this power challenge is beyond their control as a result of the collapse of the national grid. But the question we have is, we are struggling so much, but is there light at the end of the tunnel? Is there an end to this seeming blackout that seems to have transcended to greater heights? Joining us live to answer this question is none other than the head of corporate communications, Enugu Electricity Distribution Company, Mr. Emeka Eze. Thank you for being here. Good Thank morning. you for having Welcome, me. Good morning. Sir. Good morning. I, I, once you stepped into the studio, I just thought about one thing power and light <laughs> because that is all i want that's that's now it's raining so we can't say it's hot anymore mm -hmm. but we still need light there's something that happens when there's no light it's demoralizing uh, what is your assessment of the current power situation in enugu and in comparison to other southeastern states i heard that abia state is also witnessing poor power okay um thank you very much for having me and uh, i would just like to um, correct an impression. You know, in your intro, you made reference to the grid collapse. Yes. Uh, I don't think it's the grid collapse that is responsible for the situation we have. Uh, quite agreed, we had a grid collapse sometime last week. But the principal reason for the situation we are experiencing is as a result of the low, the drop in generation the drop in quantum of energy that is being generated. Okay, uh, we have the generation companies, they are not optimally firing their plants because of gas constraints. You know, we also um, issued a release on that, you know, to explain the reason. Um, they use gas to fire their plants and for some reason, because of debts owed the gas suppliers, they are not able to, you know, perform optimally. And that is the reason we're experiencing the drop down here. And uh, you made reference to Abia State. Abia State is still within our, our coverage area. It's the allocation we get that we distribute to all the states that are within our, uh, our coverage area. So <clears throat> if the allocation drops, it will definitely affect everyone. If we were enjoying eight hours before, you might not be able to get eight hours. Maybe you'll be getting four hours, depending on the level of uh, extent of drop. You know, uh, today we got uh, 222 megawatts. I think the whole generation was around 3,800 and something megawatts, which is not, I mean, that's a pointer to what we are facing. Uh, if, the if the numbers are up to like 5,000 thereabouts, we'll be getting close to 400 megawatts as our location. Remember, we get 9% of whatever is generated. So if the generation drops to 1,000 today, it will further affect our allocation. So that is the way it's structured. And um, like you rightly pointed out, it's beyond us. There's nothing we can do. Our license is to distribute that which has been generated and transferred to us. So whatever we get is what we distribute. And we ensure that they get you know, around our uh, various uh, uh, franchise area and the feeders so that customers within those areas will get. Are you saying that the grid has been completely fixed, that there's absolutely nothing else wrong with the grid? The grid? The, no, the grid is okay. It's the, it's the generation that is the problem now. But does that still involve the grid? Yes, the generation will be transferred to the grid. You know, you see, if you understand the chain, the value chain, there's a generation company, there's a transmission company, that's the TCN that manages the grid, and there's a distribution company. So the Jenkos, the generation companies are the ones that are affected by this uh, challenge. So the quantum that they are generating is not enough to meet our needs, okay? Uh, meet the needs of our customers. For example, you're living somewhere, you're enjoying 20 hours a day, and now you're getting 10 hours or 8 hours. It's as a result of the low generation. The grid is okay. It's what they generate that they transfer to the grid, 
and they push to various uh, distribution companies across the country. Okay, so essentially the grid is okay. The but grid the, is okay for now. But the, and Genco, the generation, the, the generation, Genco generation is, is now the problem. Is, 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 is low. The generation is low because of gas constraints. Mm. Okay, so what what is leading to the gas constraints? Okay, payment of uh, gas supply, payment to gas suppliers. They are not able to pay, meet up with their obligations. Uh, they, they need to pay the gas suppliers to keep, just like your, your, your supplier supplying you goods and you're not paying. At some point, they will slow down. They won't want to expose themselves so much. So that is a challenge. And if you also noticed, uh, some, I think two weeks ago, the Honorable Minister of Power set up a committee to look into this issue. It's a, it's a national concern. It's something that is affecting everywhere, not just peculiar to Enugu Disco or um, the Southeast. It's across the country. It can be attributed to everything happening in the economy too. I mean, mm. you know, it's a chain, uh, yeah. chain, chain uh, reaction. All right. Okay. So, um, so right now they've set up the committee. And what, when are we looking at to start even enjoying more um, on power supply at this point in time? Because Regards to everything that's happening in the community and in the country at this point in time, you know, people going through the hardship and the hikes and the, at these lights, these have lights, lights could actually solve or reduce our pain. People who do businesses and all that, running on generate, generator every other time, burning fuel or gas that is very expensive now and all that stuff, right? When are we looking at to actually have these powers being supplied to be sufficient for us. And, and just to add to that, if your freezer hasn't melted at this point, <laughs> then I don't know. No, I, I'm we not have to come anybody. and investigate. Not, we have I'm to investigate sure you because can. there's there's no light. And yeah. when there's no light, you can't even if you transfer your items to another freezer that is on when the inverter is on, it would still melt because it can't be on forever. You know. Okay. The, 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 the truth of the matter is that uh, power is central to our existence. Uh, there's no aspect of our existence that uh, does not depend on power to effectively and efficiently perform. Um, like I said, it's a concern, and uh, which is why the um, Honorable Minister set up the committee. I wouldn't know the timeline uh, that was given to the committee, but I know that it's something that um, uh, needs urgent attention. And uh, I want to believe that uh, soon, they will come out with uh, some meaningful um, uh, resolution to addressing this issue. How soon? <laughs> Very soon. <laughs> Very soon is not soon. <laughs> okay. Very soon is not soon. Yeah, I, I'm not a member of that committee, but I know that they've been set up, and I want to believe that they are working. I want to believe that they're also aware of um, the pain people are going through and the, the heat. The season we are in is not helping yeah, matter. They're working Thank God for the rain. To, that, uh, yeah. <laughs> the, the showers are just pouring yeah. last night. The walking is just to clear up the debts, mm. apparently. You see, that, that debt is a big concern. Mm. It's, a big, it's a major, major concern. Part of the problem we are also experiencing in the sector is related to funds. The funds are not there, readily there to, you know, address some of these issues. And uh, um, the other uh, option is to find ways to, you know, reach some kind of agreement. I'm sure that um, that is um, the path they will take. And uh, I believe that soon things will turn around. So in, in, in summary now, the challenge has shifted from the grid to the Jenkos. So it's really going down the chain. I hope that when the Jenkos are able to generate enough power, that we won't have trouble at no, the end. No, I mean, the, the, um, December, late last year, we were, having, we were not having this issue. People were having supply, and the grid was there. It's something that will make the grid to have issue. It doesn't just wake up and the uh, issue will come. Something makes the grid to collapse. The, the, one of them was attributed to vandalism, a, a tower, TCN tower was pulled down somewhere in a bone. So some act of sabotage is what we are contending with here. If everything is okay, the grid will be stable. Even if the quantum is not enough, 
the TCN and through NCC. They have a way of managing it so that the grid will be stable. And they are doing that. Okay? But once in a while, things happen. So nobody is excited, nobody is happy, you know, with the challenge we're having with the grid. But like I said earlier on, the issue we're having now is as a result of the low generation. All right. Uh, let's look at the financials. Would residents still be charged for hours that there is no light? Okay. Um, we build customers based on service rendered. So the impact of this the low availability will reflect in the bills that you get. That is your March bill for energy consumed in February. For those that are metered, they will be feeling the impact already because whatever you loaded that ordinarily would have been exhausted in a month, I'm sure you still have that, those units in your meter. So that is the way it will happen. So for customers that are on the estimated platform, the impact of this low availability will reflect in their March bill, which is for energy used in February. All right. Okay, before we go, let's just have just a little light talk on the geometric power plants. I know it's something that was um, said to be launched by the, 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 the president that was postponed, right? Can we just, can you walk us through how this would actually enable and help the Southeasterners, even those in, in those Shema local men and um, Abia state. Can we just have a conversation around it? Okay. Um, though I'm not, I'm not their spokesperson, but I, I can give a, a, an idea of uh, the impact it will have in customers within the, the Abia state. Of course, you know, um, geometric areas, Abba Power, yeah. takes care of Abba and Ari Ari. And this generation company is expected to generate power that will be used to serve customers so within Abana. It's just as the same generation the Genco does and sends to the grid. Yeah, but that. this this is one is, is a private one. By Bath, yeah, so he's going to generate and uh, from uh, what we gathered, they're even going to generate more than what is needed mm. for customers in Abana. So they will have access. To, to so it, to it is now dependent on them to know what to do with it. Maybe they push to the grid or they have somebody that will buy it off there. So, um, uh, is but it, it's, it's, a, it's a positive development. It's something that will impact, you know, the end users within that space. Since this is working, right, it's not time encourage, we start encouraging individuals, uh, you know, through PPP to, to start building or, or um, developing, generating um, companies for Power and it's not, it's not time to start, you know, encouraging. Of course, of course, the the opportunities are there, okay. But is uh, now for the player to come in. Remember, if you're coming in to set up such uh, a, a gigantic uh, venture, you also have in mind those people that you're going to serve, the people that will pay for that energy that you're going to generate. You have to reach an agreement are with them, to? and they, are they willing to pay? Mm. It comes at a, at, a, at a cost. It's not going to be easy. So the opportunities, like I said, they are there. But who will come to play with what we are going through? We are talking about paying the gas suppliers, and it's as a result of payments not made by people that have consumed the energy that have been generated. So uh, let's not think it's just a walk in the park come in and set up and you get your money. It takes a long time to recover that investment. Well, and it yeah. also takes us to change our orientation. See that as a product that will be paid for. Okay? See it as a product that will be paid for, for that business to be sustained. Well, I think there's prospect because uh, we had in, in our bar you know, a couple of uh, weeks ago, right, and I had CV and with all, all, all we've generated and information Ghana that gathered and all that, some of them, some of the, the consumers are willing to, like, if this is going to be what it is, right, we are, we are burning money in buying gas and fuel to power power generators and all that stuff. So if this is what it is, we are willing to pay what it I costs. I want to believe that yeah. they will live up to what they are saying. Yeah. Something happened in that same hour sometime. There was an independent arrangement where um, uh, a, a, an arrangement was made for a cluster there 
they were generating enough power for them. But they were complaining that the, the, the tariff was high. So is it that you, you decide on what you want? There's no way you will not pay premium for such mm. service. Okay? If, okay, if you're, if you're spending a certain amount to run your generator, maintain your generator, and all of a sudden, the generator is resting and you're channeling those resources to pay for oh. power. I, don't, I think it makes sense. But you see people, they don't see reason why they should pay certain amount for power. So if they are saying that, I want to believe that they will live up to it. We've had experience down there some time ago. And they packed up. The, the arrangement that was made, I think it was um, um, rural electrification that set up that arrangement. They, they couldn't sustain it because they were complaining that the tariff was high. Mm. Why wouldn't it be high? It will be high because you need to pay for that venture to be sustained. And that is the only way it can run. If people are not paying, it cannot sustain that business. As a result of the power challenges, you have people that are now turning to using cooking gas to power their gasoline generators. And it is something that is happening below the line. We don't see them, but they are doing it. Do you think that this is a dangerous trend, using cooking gas to power not gas power generators, but gasoline, fuel, petrol power generators? You know, is it you know, dangerous? Um, so sometimes you see some of these innovation come up and people jump at it without really uh, researching. And, yeah. and um, we've uh, recorded some accidents that were attributed to this gas uh, issue. And I think if it's, if it's something that, is, uh, uh, that works, we we'll have to do it the right way, okay? We need to do engage the right people. Some people engage, they, they now jump into it to say, okay, I can do this, I can do this, and by the time you know, they, they mess up the whole thing. So it's, it's worked elsewhere. It's just to make sure you're dealing with the right person, the professional that understands the right um, generator for this gas uh, 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 option. All right. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank totally unrelated, me. but mm. how far has Anambra State gone with the 24-hour power dream? Okay, the arrangement we have with the Anambra is it's something that is ongoing. Remember, I told you that uh, it's something that will be happening gradually. It's not something that will happen overnight. Works are going on. I told you the committees were set with the Commissioner for Utility um, um, chairing it, and uh, a lot of progress has been made, and we believe that uh, very soon customers will begin to, you know, feel the impact. It's very viable. It is. Hmm. It is. But like I said, it's also a function of the end users. Whatever really effort too. that is being made and the customers are not paying, it will not succeed. So, but the governor himself is committed to it, and we are there to provide the resources to make sure it happens. All awesome. right. Thank you once again for being here. Thank you. Always a pleasure to have you. Thank you.